A favourite among the readers of Tharg's great weekly curation of stories, 2000 AD, is the world of Judge Dredd and everything weird and wonderful it has to offer. The man of the law is judge, jury and executioner. He is the law. And if you are lucky enough to actually receive a sentence of imprisonment rather than death, you will wind up in the isocubes. Lots of people have asked what exactly they are, so today I will attempt to break them down as best as possible and give you an insight into this post-apocalyptic wasteland of Mega City 1. For those crimes deemed petty enough to do time, such as owning a goldfish without a license, loitering, or smoking outside of the smokatoriums, you will receive a quick sentence to the cubes. The slang term for isocubes, short for isolation cubes. The perp will stay there until the term of the sentence is completed, unable to leave of course and no one to visit. The isolation cube is a tiny room, similar to the single dwelling apartments in Mega City 1, but smaller of course, with barely any facilities and one door that only opens from the outside. But if you think that means privacy, then you are wrong. This isn't a vacation. This isn't a comfortable stay. A stay in the isocubes means you are under the direct care of the judges and the Department of Justice. You do not get privacy. You do not get time to yourself. And you are always being watched. Despite being caged in a tiny cube. The judges maintain a watchful eye on all perps housed in the isocubes by way of a durable glass panel on the opposing wall to the door. This enables them to keep eyes on the perp and ensure they do not attempt suicide during their sentence. Of course, isocubes are only one part of the prison system within Mega City 1 and the world of the judges. The cubes are the cells and the prison itself is called the iso block. Numerous isocubes, hundreds, thousands in fact, make up an isoblock. The information surrounding isoblocks on a whole is few and far between. They aren't often shown in the stories and although they are mentioned, it's only with the littlest of details. We do know that although Megacity 1 operates the isocubes and isoblock system, they also house criminals in off-world penitentiary colonies. One such is the Titan Penal Colony. This criminal colony, however, is only reserved for bent judges, corrupt and captured. The most famous of these being Rico Dredd, Judge Joseph Dredd's clone brother. And additionally, outside of those, there is another, perhaps the quirkiest of the prisons that are operating in Mega City 1, and also a good example of what the comic on a whole represents and has to offer the reader, the Devil's Island Prison. This prison appeared in Prague number 2 and is essentially a plateau in the middle of Mega City 1. An inescapable prison surrounded entirely by computer controlled trucks servicing the city and speeding at roughly 200 miles per hour. The irony is, yes, you could escape your life sentence, but escape would mean your life as you would certainly die in the speeding traffic. Now, if any of that doesn't put you off breaking the law in Mega City 1, just know that a judge could easily just sentence you to death rather than time in the cubes, depending on the crime, of course. So hopefully this helps answer some questions with regards to the ISO cubes and the ISO blocks. I'm curious as to how these will be depicted in the upcoming Judge Dread TV series planned by Rebellion Productions. This is something that really should be comic accurate. In my eyes anyway, the simplicity of the isocube is what makes it so bleak and hopeless. And for those that aren't aware, there is a Judge Dread TV series announced and in the works. For those that want to know firsthand from the producers and the owner of the comic and character, check out the interview I did last year with Jason Kingsley and Brian Jenkins. I'll link it at the end of this video, and of course, please do stick around the channel for further updates and sneak previews of what's to come. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, then please do hit that like button and consider sharing on social media, as that really does help me and the channel out. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here, and if you want to support the channel further and what I'm trying to do here, then please do head on over to my Patreon page for exclusive content and updates via the link in the description box. As always, I've been Mr. H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.